All right, everybody, back with a brand new Cabral concept. Can't wait to get into this show, episode 3273, if you're looking for the show notes and also the research, because this is a hot topic. Many people have said before that there is this very powerful green algae and an extract of that that helps to bind to and remove heavy metals from the body. And then there are other people who say, no, it's actually a weak binder. It doesn't really work. And you need to go with much stronger chelation or other herbs. What I like to do is actually say, okay, what do they use in Ayurvedic based times? But also what does modern medicine, modern science show? And I want to share that with you today and hopefully put to end the debate of whether this product works or not. Now, I also want to share that there are multiple ways to get the results you're looking for. And I always, when it comes to something like getting rid of the heavy metals in your body, like aluminum and mercury and lead and arsenic and cadmium and some of these others as well, we want to use a more holistic approach. We don't want to say, oh, we're just going to use this one ingredient and everything's going to be great. We want to look at it in a much more scientific and integrative approach. But at the same time, I want to share with you and end the debate, does chlorella work? And the science shows, especially very strongly, as of two years ago, yes, it does. There was a uh, journal publication in, uh, I just actually, I read this on Springer Nature, but it's in the Journal of Applied Phycology. And it showed that, and this is, this is the exact title, Quantitative Evaluation of Chlorella Vulgaris for Removal of Toxic Metals from the Body. And it went on to show not only does chlorella help to remove heavy metals from the body, it actually creates specific peptides, production of peptides in our own body called metallothionines and phytochelatins that go after these metals, lock onto them, and actually transport them through the liver to the intestines and safely out of the body. Pretty remarkable. So when we say, does it work, yes or no, this was done not just in vitro, but also in vivo. We know now that chlorella works as a heavy metal binding chelator to remove it from the body. Now, should it be the only thing that you use? Not necessarily. But when we are looking at the science, it works. It works. But also, it seems to be the best out of all of the other nature-based nutrients were given. Let me give you a few others, though, that are excellent, but they aren't yet, at least scientifically, on the same level as chlorella. Another one that we're huge fans of, and we use ourselves in our heavy metal detox, is cilantro. Cilantro, known for, and actually paired with chlorella. So here's the thing. This is why. I would never use just chlorella by itself, because why? You can use all these other great herbs and nutrients from nature that have also been shown to work well. Now, as well maybe as chlorella? Maybe not. But here's the thing. When you add multiple modalities together, the effect typically isn't 1 plus 1 equals 2. It's usually 1 plus 1 equals 3. You usually get more effect. That's why you see synergistic functional medicine formulas. So when you add cilantro, you might be able to better pick up mercury, lead, and aluminum and help to mobilize and excrete these from the body. Body. So a big fan of using cilantro. Hard to get it from food alone, but great to add to different meals and dishes. But as an encapsulation, fantastic. Another one that people talk about is spirulina. I looked very specifically on the research on spirulina. The research is good, but and I know people have said, no, actually spirulina is better than uh, cilantro or chlorella. It is not true. Not in the research, at least. Now, here's where spirulina shines, though. It is what I would call a secondary binder, so pretty good at binding to heavy metals. However, it better supports detoxification, intermediary metabolites, that means basically free radical damage through the process that goes on through liver detoxification. And what it also does, and I think that this is pretty powerful, is that it helps to protect the body as this detox process is going on. So I would absolutely use spirulina as well for the high levels of uh, phycocyanin that it contains. So a very powerful antioxidant. And we love spirulina. I mean, that's what gives it that blue color. And our, our daily fruit and vegetable blend, uh, which contains 
Craxel, chlorella, the spirulina, all these great things. That's a, it's a gentle binder and daily basis. It's not a heavy metal detox. Again, I like to be honest, but it contains that spirulina as well. Okay. Spirulina is amazing. There's another one that you should know about though. The research on this is actually ongoing, but it contains something called alginate and it's called bladder rack. Bladder rack has been shown to bind to heavy metals, specifically lead, cadmium, and mercury in the gastrointestinal tract, which is basically your intestines. So as cilantro, let's call it chlorella, and others are mobilizing, bringing the heavy metals in to be excreted through bile and, and a bowel movement, partially through sweat and urine. What can happen though is bladder rack can actually help to bind stronger in the intestines. And then the alginate inside the bladder rack can actually work as a natural detoxifier out of the body as well. So that's why I love being able to use the synergy but based on the science, chlorella is the strongest. So I would use chlorella along with the others. We don't need to exclude them. Why? I mean, it's just only to your benefit. Now, along with that, people always ask about zeolite. No problem with zeolite. No problem at all. What I like to do, because zeolite is hard to find that's heavy metal free of its own, right? Because zeolite in nature binds, right? So we have to be careful with that. That's just one thing I want to share with you uh, because we've looked at it many times. We've looked at chilajit many times. Unfortunately, these things sometimes come in with higher levels of lead, which again, I, I hate because you know I know it, lead is natural in nature, totally get it, but I'm trying to remove these metals from the body. I don't want to add more. So what I'll often use instead is humic or fulvic acid. So I'll use those extracts, which are great detoxifiers as well. I also like products that contain alpha lipoic acid, uh, triphala, things that help to produce more glutathione, all of those are great. They're not necessarily binders, but what they do is they can help with liver detoxification because the, you know, again, your blood is filtered by your liver about every six to 12 minutes. And let me show you on my model here, uh, Walter, you can see below the right side of your rib cage, you've got this dark red organ and that's because it's loaded with blood. So your body is literally, this is like the car filter of the body. It's filtering all the blood in your body, just call it every 10 minutes or so. And it's pretty remarkable. And so what happens is it's trying to catch the metals and all the other hormone metabolites and toxins and help to get it out of the body. Well, what it's able to do is then connect down to the intestines. And it's able then to take all of these toxins that it doesn't need and just drop them, basically dump them into the intestines to be then removed from the body. So it's a pretty remarkable process if you have everything working at once. So I wanted to share with you that is what the science shows. And I want to give you exactly what we do, but a more holistic approach. So we like to look at an eight-week heavy metal detox. Now you might say, eight weeks, it's so long, but you do it in a gentler way. It's just three products. One is you want to use a biofilm disruptor. I think that's pretty important. A lot of people don't talk about that. A lot of these heavy metals can get trapped in the intestines inside of what's called a biofilm. I have a whole podcast on that. I can link it up here today. So you want to just naturally use enzymes to dissolve that biofilm. And we use very specific enzymes. Pretty remarkable what the human body can do, again, from natural enzymes. The second is you want to go out there and you want to use a true heavy metal detox-based formula, something that contains chlorella and bladder rack and cilantro and spirulina. These are all great things. And then you want to use a binder. And that binder can be used so that when these things enter the intestines, they don't come back out. So those would be like your low histamine uh, activated charcoal or your bentonite clay or your humic and fulvic acid or your tudka, those types of things. Uh, we like to use all of those. Why? Because some people react better than others. So if you don't load up just on one, you can actually get more of a synergistic based effect. So that's what we use. It's very simple. It's just three products. Uh, I can't link that up here today because we can't link up products on uh, shows where we talk about scientific research. It's just what the FDA says. So we play by the rules. But you can find all of those are at stephencabral.com slash shop. That just takes you over to Equalife. You can just type in heavy metal detox. You'll see exactly what we use. You don't have to use our product and our formulas. No problem at all. But you can at least look at the ingredients, right? And so all of that is free. We open source our ingredients for you to take a look at it. Now, in addition to a heavy metal detox, it is nice to be able to add certain things like cilantro and parsley to your food to be able to add in some nice spices like rosemary for all of those um, great antioxidants. But 
If you can, you want to try to use also a sauna, an infrared sauna if possible, four to five days a week for about 30 minutes. And if you can do that, even if it's at a lower heat, you want to sweat, but you know, it's all based on the individual um, temperature, right? So like if I go into a sauna and it's 180 degrees and I sweat and, and I'm feeling good and someone starts to sweat at 150 degrees, well, again, like they're 150 is my 180. And so again, that's more personalized. You do want to sweat a little bit and an infrared sauna kind of heats that body more from millimeters below the skin from the inside out. And has been shown actually to be a little bit better for certain metals like mercury, et cetera. So big fan of this. And this is why you're going to hear more and more about heavy metals affecting things like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, dementia, et cetera. I, I've run hundreds of thousands of mineral metals tests. If you haven't run your heavy metals yet, I can't recommend that enough. I can actually link up that lab today, uh, but that's also at stephencabal.com slash shop. Just take you over to Equalife. You can find the minerals and metals test. And uh, the goal is education. The goal is just moving forward each and every week, each and every month, getting just a little bit better, improving our health that much more so that we don't have to have the big health scare, you know, five years from now, 10 years from now, whatever it might be. Let's get started now. Let's start to teach our kids, teach our family, share it with our parents, grandparents, whatever it might be. That's really what it's all about. So hopefully this was helpful. Uh, a gentle based formula is the daily fruit and vegetable blend that has a little bit on a daily basis. Yeah, but hopefully all this was helpful. I'll link up the science and and uh, whatever I can that I'm allowed to at stephencabral.com slash 3273. Be well, everybody. I'll talk to you tomorrow on a brand new Cabral Concept. Thanks so much for tuning into today's show. Before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I want to make sure that you're getting our daily content, not missing out on anything. Functional medicine, wellness, weight gain, weight loss, anti-aging, living longer, stronger, and all of the most cutting edge research. And if there's any topics you want to hear, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Take care.